mouth-watering. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been here in a really long time and I felt oddly inspired watching Peter McKinnon's videos and I thought, hey, why don't I just do a what I eat in a day video because I haven't done that in a really long time and I feel like I've been sharing stuff on Instagram but I thought I'd do a dedicated video right here. So this is gonna be kind of vlog style. As you can see. This is me in the morning, freshly woken up. So this, <laughs> I'm gonna get myself together and do a little workout. What I like to do in the morning is fill up my water bottle. This is my new one. It's a Lark bottle and it's definitely not sponsored. They did not, they, they would, would not send me one for free. <laughs> this top right here comes off and this is is a little UV light that will purify the water every two hours and when you press the little button on the top so this purifies your water gets rid of all the bacteria and actually cleans the bottle so you never have to worry about cleaning your water bottle again so if you don't like nasty gross musty water bottles I try to drink water all throughout the day like because I have so much coffee which you guys will see so if you have a water bottle on you it's much easier to just keep drinking keep hydrated throughout the day that curbs your appetite and makes sure that you're hydrated because a lot of the times when you're moody or you feel off or you're hungry, it's really just your body saying, please give me water. So before you freak out or do anything drastic, always try to drink water and then go from there. I usually don't eat until like noon, so I wake up around 9.30 or 10, and then I wait to eat until 12.30. I guess it's kind of intermittent fasting, I don't like to call it that, but I just try to give my body a little bit of a break and try to wait at least 12 hours in between dinner and breakfast. So we're gonna work out and then we're gonna eat lunch slash breakfast. Okay, workout's done, we're ready to go. I did a little hit workout today. I like to switch things up, you know I like to dance a lot. So now we're showered, we're ready to go, and ready for breakfast at 2.30. I never, I never wait this long to eat. I'm usually, like I said, eating by 12.30, so I'm starving, but I'm still going to take you guys through what I'm making. It's my favorite breakfast, I eat it every single day, so if you've seen any of my old vlogs, you already know what's coming, but I do make it differently now. What are you doing? I'm in the middle of my food. Okay, before I get started with making food, I have to have coffee. I've only had a little bit so far this morning. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite cold brew recipe. I used to go to Starbucks every single day. You guys know that. I make it at home now. I've got Haley using this too. I use the OXO, oh, where is it? So I use this cold brew maker. It's called the OXO cold brew maker. I'll link it below. So once I've got my concentrate, I allow myself about one cup of concentrate a day. I aim for three-fourths, but let's be realistic here. The perfect ratio of water to concentrate is one to two, so we're gonna do two cups of water for every one cup of concentrate. One and a half packets of Truvia. My friend Lauren Fix got me off sugar, but in my coffee at least, not in real life. A little Trader Joe's almond milk. Just stevia. Oh, didn't stir that enough. The perfect cold brew recipe is three and a half cups of coarsely ground coffee. That's important, it's not finely ground, it's coarsely ground coffee. I have my own coffee grinder. You can get it like really cheap on Amazon, like 14 bucks. Then six cups of water. You mix that together, let it sit for about 20 to 22 hours. 18 is the absolute minimum. If it hasn't soaked for at least 18 hours, I won't drink it because then it's just not strong. Once it's ready, you take it out of the fridge the next day and then you drain it into here and you have concentrate that lasts you, they say it lasts you 14 days. It lasts me about four days, but hey, to each their own. This is the basic coffee grinder I use. I don't love it, but it's cheap and it is what it is. Usually get Pete's coffee from Costco or Kirkland Organic because it's super cheap. Definitely love Pete's way more than this though. You have your coffee and water mixed in here overnight. Pop it on here, go boop, it drains right into this guy. Oh, <laughs> whoops, guess it still has some left. All right, so for the usual we have eggs, bread, avocado, C's vegan cheese. I'm not gonna take you through how I make this because it's a freaking egg sandwich, you know how I make it, but what I am gonna show you is how I make the eggs. I make it in this guy. This is my Brava. I love it so much. This thing is a touchscreen cooking device. It has tons of different recipes in it. One of my favorite, which I can search for, are fried eggs. Basically, I can tell it how I want the eggs fried, how many eggs there are, how done I want them, and it, it just does everything for me. So, I'm gonna spray up my tray, have two eggs. 
you guys put your eggshells in the carton? Because I've seen people do that and it freaks me out, but like, I just did it, so maybe I get it. Season these guys with some of my favorite seasoning, everything but the bagel from Trader Joe's. Shout out Trader Joe's. There's two eggs, I want it over easy, it's already there. Go to the end, open her up. Slide her in, Boop. press the green button, and it's now cooking the fried eggs perfectly. It has a little screen to show you when they're gonna be done. Tells you the exact amount of time. This is my other unnecessary but totally necessary kitchen device, the Revolution Cooking It Toaster. One, it's got a tray thing and it reminds you when to empty the toasting tray so it's not all stuck inside and gross. Also, has a bunch of options for English muffin, bagel, waffle, pop tart. You get the idea. You can cook it fresh, frozen, or reheat it. I like mine really crispy, so I'm gonna click six. Pop her in right there. There she's go, she's ready to go. And then I'm gonna click start. Oh yeah. Oh, what a cool shot too. Wow, nice job, EOSR. What, however, this toaster makes toast tastes so good, I can eat it with no butter, no anything on it. I can just take it out and it tastes so delicious. That's not an exaggeration, it is what it is. All right, she just beeped, they are ready. Oh, and she's ready too. Everything's happening at once. Those are perfectly cooked eggs, ready to pop. All right, and you are ready. A perfect piece of toast. Yes, you are. Not sure if I showed this before, but I love this seasoning from Trader Joe's also. It's um, got like sea salt, chili pepper, and cheese in it. She's great. Come through, seize cheese. Oh my gosh. A little extra hungry today, so I'm gonna have this, uh, like a chicken sausage as well from Trader Joe's. Pre-cooked sausage, one link. Cook her in there too. I cook, I literally don't even use my microwave anymore. This is also microwave and air fryer. <laughs> this does everything. The most consistent vlogger you've ever seen on YouTube who will make five what I eat in a day videos over the span of four years and still show you the same exact meal every single time. Welcome to the Coffee With My Ex podcast set. <laughs> This is where you see us every single week. And it's also where I eat lunch. It's my only place of solitude. I really try to not eat, eat where I um, work. So I don't eat in the office. I don't ever eat in my bedroom. I also don't really eat in the living room because that's where we have dinner and that's where we're like winding down for the day. So this spot right here is like my in-between where it's my rest place. But I also know that it's also, I'm in the middle of my work day. So there's still more to be done. It's a way to kind of train your brain to be able to get through the day. At least I need that. And so I watch Philip DeFranco with my breakfast every morning. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I watch something during every single meal. I cannot eat something without watching something. I have, <laughs> where are you going? Uh, just so you guys know, I'm on my second coffee. But it's five o'clock and my usual cutoff is three. But it's the weekend, so we're gonna be crazy. That went down my wrong windpipe. Your wrong windpipe? That went down my wrong windpipe. All right, it's about 6 p.m. I usually have a snack at like four, but I had a late lunch, so my snack is gonna be very cheap, and it's a great way to get protein and fat, and especially with like my ADD brain, it thrives on protein, so I really do well with that. Um, so I have a hard boiled egg, and then some just tuna from Trader Joe's. This is the one I get, it's made in water, not oil, which I find is a lot better, and it's less calories, and just heavy. And then my favorite mayo, which I've already told you guys about, Primal Kitchen Mayo. I like this flavor the best, their garlic one tastes like not good, but this one I love. While this may be like a cheaper meal, you can always make anything taste better with seasoning. So I like to throw on everything but the bagel seasoning. I love that. Garlic is always a go-to of mine. Some pepper. You're right, some pepper. And then maybe a little bit of sea salt. And this is what you get. Does it look appetizing? No, but it does to me. Yeah, I think it tastes really good. Also. This is great on bread. I'm just not having bread with it right now because it's so close to dinner, but um, making this into like a sandwich is great. I love this. You know what, I lied. I'm having bread. While we're waiting, I got some of this from Trader Joe's, this crispy, crunchy okra. I don't love it, but I do love the um, broccoli version. 
I'm not eating these right now, but I might later. This is just one of my favorite snacks. It's by Siete, which is one of my favorite brands because they're all grain-free. It's paleo, vegan, gluten-free, and it's made with coconut sugar, and I'm so sorry about my background. It's My house is just a set. Cam wanted to have an Aperol tonight, which is one of our favorite drinks we had for the first time in Italy, which it's designed to be like a pre-dinner drink, so it's called an aperitivo, I think. I'm not super into sweet drinks, but this is sweet and bitter. Haley hates it, Cameron and I absolutely love it. It's equal parts Prosecco and Aperol. This is my number one recommended drink, a thousand percent. Favorite drink I've ever had. For dinner tonight, we have salmon burgers from Butcher Box. You cook them from frozen, so it's super easy to prepare. Oh, that was good! Can you turn that off? We also just, copyright. Um, we also just got this, because we were spending lots of money on things like this, where it's like cooking spray, also avocado oil cooking spray. Try not to use canola oil cooking spray, I know that's the most common, but. Avocado oil has a higher smoke point. Has a higher smoke point, look at that too, and health benefits. Um, but these are so expensive, it seems like for nothing, and it's a lot of waste, a lot of cans. But these are reusable, you can put your actual oil, just your regular oil, in these canisters, and it creates a mist, and you can just mist your regular olive oil. We're all about sustainability here. Someone today asked me if my star was permanent. Like, no, I just I put a sticker on before every shoot. Get your freshly minced garlic. All I right. do a lot. Yeah, fresh minced garlic. But we're gonna garlic. mix it all around. We love it. Focusing, yes, Trader Joe's garlic, let's go. All their seasonings are great, and they're like $2.99 a pop. Boy. Garlic on garlic, just like their wine. If you haven't had Trader Joe's wine, oof. It's so good. $3, so good. Freshly ground pepper. Pepper, pepper, never enough. Never enough. One of my other favorite Trader Joe's is the onion salt. Yes, onion salt. So good. We love a good chili lime. We love a good chili lime. This girl's pretty much. Oh, she's gone, but show it to them so they know, because it's really good. Chili lime. So good, yeah. Clean as you cook. Clean as you cook. So cozy up here. Something I do want to talk about is Butcher Box, where we have gotten all of our meat for two years. They have chicken, ground turkey, um, whole turkey, chicken wings, chicken thighs, uh, chicken drumsticks. They have steak, filet mignon, pork, shrimp. They have salmon. They have every type of meat, and the best part is it's all organic and free range quality meat, so you don't have to worry about it being pumped with hormones or nitrates or anything like that. It delivers to your door every month and it's so much more affordable than going to the store. We've used it, like I said, for two years and it's completely changed the way we eat. It makes it so much easier and we always know that we're getting healthy quality meal every time. Oh yeah, flip those babies. Wow, that, these ones are pretty. This is a meat thermometer. Super simple, you can get that on Amazon. I'll link it below. I would always, always recommend using a meat thermometer when cooking meat so you know exactly when it's done so you're always being safe. Like this is supposed to be 165, so she has got a minute to go. Oh my gosh, I've been doing my salmon medium rare in the Brava because it has a temp sensor so it cooks it to the perfect temperature. And salmon fillets cooked to like 118 that are still a little soft inside. All right, this is the finished product. Some asparagus with Parmesan on top and our salmon burgers. We'll probably have dessert, so I might see you a little bit later. Or I might have another Aperol, who knows? This is a very normal time for us to be getting dinner. We eat so late. So I am gonna do one more thing <laughs> before the end of the night. I'm gonna have some of this, which is my favorite ice cream brand. Um, I think you can get it nationwide, but they're based here in LA. It's Salt and Straw. It's just such amazing, incredible handmade ice cream. Okay, lad, that wasn't all. I took that ice cream and I put some um, grain-free granola in it and some raw almonds, just to give it some crunch. We're having one more drink, which is what? A Brut Rosé, you say? Brut Rosé with Aperol and vermouth? It's like a rosé spritz. Alrighty. That tops it off for the whole day. As you can see, it's a big mix of clean food and dirty food. But you know what? No food is dirty food. All food is good. It's everything in moderation. That's how I live my life. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it. I don't know. I know it's not a typical what I eat in a day video, but... If you didn't uh, like it, subscribe. If you didn't like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one.